So uh, today is uh, my second full day at the banana farm. Today is Monday. Um, I just got done with my day. Um, today, instead of uh, harvesting and packing and putting the bananas in the boxes, um, I was responsible for clearing all the dead leaves from the banana trees. I uh, only worked on one row. I didn't even get finished with that one row. And there's uh, many, many, many more rows to go. Um, that just gives you the scale of a life of a farmer. Uh, you know, on a rhythm all day long and probably work to be had. I want to say forever, but uh, for a very long time. Um, it, was, uh, it, wasn't, it was hard, uh, it wasn't easy, but it wasn't too bad. Uh, very doable. Um, you guys all know that I'm a big natural sweater. Uh, and today uh, I worked so hard that it looked like I peed my pants, although I didn't. That literally sweat. You guys are probably all very grossed out right now, but uh, wanted to just let you know. Uh, and today was all about being in a rhythm all day long. Uh, just because you're doing the same thing for a very long time and it seems like it can go on forever. Uh, teaching me a lot about um, patience. Um, instead of trying to finish it right away, focused on getting on a rhythm. Using it as a, a meditative, spiritual experience. Thinking about the, the food that the banana trees provide, sending good thoughts to the banana trees, just positive energy so that they will grow and yield healthy fruit. And uh, it was really um, relaxing. You know, I think you have to be in the right state of mind, but uh, I'm still continuing to really enjoy my experience. Um, I'm, I'm very happy that I came. Um, the unique thing about today was that uh, Annette and Uncle Godwin were focusing on, 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 on weighing, cleaning, and packing the bananas. I was all doing, I was uh, cutting all the bana dead banana leaves entirely all by myself today. So it was a uh, It allowed me to spend a lot of time just at peace. Um, another um, another thing that uh, that happened on on, on Friday that uh, um really really sad about is that um, I, I took a turn going up from highway uh, 56 to 50 I believe and didn't take it the right way I took it uh, too fast the diesel has a little bit of power a lot of torque so it's really punchy and even though it's a very straightforward way to get home um, I hadn't really driven back from the farm and uh, I was trying to follow uh, Uncle Godwin in front of me and didn't want to lose him and I punched the gas a little bit too fast and I lost about nine boxes of bananas off the back of the truck you know first uh, that's a good deal of a uh, lot of work that we put in to put those boxes together uh, that's also money uh, that goes to to pay for people's livelihood. Uh, also, it's it's food that got destroyed that people won't be able to eat. And um, it made me very sad. But um, I guess I could have worked the weekend. I didn't. I spent my time enjoying Kauai. That's a part, that's something that I wanted to do and I needed to do. Um, I'm hoping I can um, I don't want to say pay but uh, 
show my appreciation and make up for my loss by working really hard. And at the, if it's at the end, if it, doesn't, if it doesn't seem like a good value exchange, I'm more than happy to pay for the bananas. Um, so we'll see what happens. But I guess that's the life of a bar farmer. You know, uh, every employee in a year will cost a farmer many, many tens of thousands of dollars in lost and lost yield and fruit and damages, etc. And it's, it's part of, I guess, uh, life of a farmer. You know, it's, it's not easy. Um, and uh, I had the best intentions, but it is what it is. So we'll see what happens there. Um, but today I just put that effort into meditating and working hard and getting in a rhythm thinking positive thoughts and inside I'm confident that it's all gonna work out you know um, I'll say that working on a banana farm reminds me of when I was 18 19 in the summertime when I worked as a uh, as a mover I worked uh, slightly longer days and physically it might have been actually uh, a little bit more difficult. Um, but uh, what I really enjoy about this experience is that it's a lot more spiritual. I can meditate, clear my mind, and you know there's some other really positive sides. Uh, I go home or every break it feels so nice all the food that I eat tastes wonderful I'm eating because my body needs it versus making my feel myself feel better because I'm stressed um, after a long day at work you have a beer and my god does it taste delicious And when I just eat food in general, kind of a better understanding of all the work and effort that goes behind the things that you eat. So I'm really thankful to be able to go through this experience. You know, you read um, about meditation and about you know Buddhism and some of these areas where you know you're supposed to think about the food on your plate before you eat it, how it's traveled to your plate, how far it's come. The, the energy of the sun, the water, the soil, creating this plant. All the people that had to put love and care, hopefully, into harvesting. Then transportation, distribution, getting in a store typically. An ungodly amount of work goes behind the scenes. And, uh, I already know that uh, when I eat, I think about that a little bit more. I have a little bit better understanding of what that means. All right, well, um, today I'm gonna drive very slow and safe and uh, wish me luck. And, uh, Actually, I guess one last thing. Uh, tomorrow, I actually do a different exercise. Tomorrow, I believe I'll be uh, picking the flowers and bagging. Uh, it's supposed to be a little bit easier than what I did today. Uh, but that is not a problem. I, uh, I really enjoy this hard work. Um, I'm not sure if Uncle Godwin really believes it, but uh, you know, I'm here to uh, work hard and I want to add value to them. I'm not here on vacation. I could have been doing a lot of other things if I wanted to be on vacation. Um, and so uh, hopefully it'll pan out. I think it will. And uh, so I'm looking forward to uh, learning some uh, new aspects of banana farming tomorrow. And uh, I'm going to be signing off today. I'll be sleeping well tonight. All right.